So you're interested in kinesiology and you're wondering what are kinesiology classes like? So in this video, I'm going to tell you pretty much a general understanding of what kinesiology is and what to expect in these classes. So let's get into this video. Lego. Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Dr. Lift for Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. All right, so we gotta start from the basic and really interpret the word kinesiology. Kinesiology means the study of human movement. Now, movement is something that I think I really had trouble understanding because I was like, well, yeah, we move all the time, but what does that exactly mean? And it really didn't take, it really took like a full year of uh, pursuing this undergraduate study of kinesiology before I realized what human movement actually was. So let me help expedite that process for you and make this clear so you can understand what classes are like as a kinesiology major. So when you stay still, there is no movement, right? You're staying static. But when you move from point A to point B, so point A to point B, then there is movement that occurs. So kinesiology is studying what's happening in this movement. Now this is a very simple example, but now you think about a baseball player that goes from point A to point B, right? What are all the things that are happening in that movement process? What are the joints that are moving? What are the muscles that are contracting? What are the nerves that are being fired? What's the coordination and the motor skills that is required for that movement to occur? Are there any dysfunctions or maybe some limitations? Maybe some muscles are tight, maybe some joints are stiff. So kinesiology looks at all of those things for that to happen. So let's just break this down into this very simple example from point A to point B, okay? So point A, nothing's happening and movement is still. Now, in order for this to get to this, this is what you'll learn in class. So in order for this to happen, First, we always start at the nervous system, which is the brain and spinal cord. Now the brain will prepare the movement to happen and signal the body, hey, I need to make this arm bend. Now after this prepares, then the brain sends the signal down into the spinal cord through the nervous system to the muscle via the muscular, the neuromuscular junction. And this is where the nerves go and attach to the muscle, which signals it to finally contract. And when this contracts, then you see that the muscle length goes from a lengthened part to a shortened part, kind of like a rubber band, but then the opposing muscle on the other side of the joint lengthens out. So on one side, when you're contracting, you're shortening, and the other side is lengthening, kind of like a pulley in order for this movement to happen. Pretty cool, right? In this channel, you'll find videos on everything related to the physical therapy journey from picking a major and deciding whether or not you wanna get into PT school, tips and strategies for the application process, study tips for PT students, and more. And if you have some maybe aches and pains on your body, you'll find videos on how to rehab those parts on your own. So if any of that resonates with you, please feel free to subscribe and hit those notifications.